This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. So we're going to continue building out our game. Mine looks like this so far. Yours should be somewhat similar. Um, if, if, if not, you should uh, go back and do the other parts of this lesson. All right, so let's see. Create an item. Next, you need to add the items that fall from the top of the screen. These move just like platforms, but faster. In order to make the game more interesting, the items start at a random location above the screen, all right? For this, for the sample game, the item's X position is a random number between 50 and 300, and Y position is a random number between negative 30 and negative 60, kind of controlling where and how close the blocks it will be dropping. That would make sense. Do this. Use the create sprite block to make item, item sprite an item sprite in the create sprite section of your code, all right? Use the random number block inside. Well, let's first do the sprites they just said. So we're going to do create sprites. And I'm going to do this under platform 2, I guess. Mm, I'm going to put a space here just to make it easier to read. So create sprites. And then what should I name this? Let's see what the animation is. Star. Okay, well then I'm just going to keep this simple and name it star. And it doesn't have to be named star, I could name it hello, right? Because it's a variable, but I'm going to keep it the same as the animation label. Okay, so I did that, create, yep, use random number block inside, oh right, we do want a random number, so math, all the way down here, random number, whoop, and I need that again, whoop. I'm going to shrink this for a second. So for X, we want a random number between 50 and 350. So 50 and 3, ah, 50. And then for Y, we want a random number between negative 30 and negative 60. Okay, so I have that now. Great. Use a set animation. We already did that. And a Y velocity, okay, to give your sprite the correct image and make it fall from the top of the screen. They don't tell us what velocity, so I guess we get to pick. Uh... Hmm. I must have missed it. There it is. And we want Y velocity going to be positive since it's dropping. I need to change that to star. Let's say velocity 3 because it looks like it's moving faster than the platforms. Run the code to test it. Okay. There's my star. Hey, it's starting to look like a game. And it doesn't loop yet, but I bet we'll be doing that in the next level. So... This was the stuff that I had added, right? We created the star. Onward.